we are playing Kirby's Math Attack on the Nintendo DSi XL. This game is so much fun. Kirby gets split into 10 different pieces, and you're using the stylus and the touch screen to control all the little individual Kirbys. What's cool about this game is that as you're playing through, it is a very traditional 2D side-scrolling game, but because you get to control so many different Kirbys, it makes it really interesting. You can use your Kirby to attack enemies by tapping the screen or flick it. I love these controls. It's so much fun just flicking them around the touch screen here. So anyone can pick this up and play. So Kirby's Mass Attack launches for the Nintendo DS family of systems on September 19th. Thanks for watching everyone! All you fans of Kid Icarus on the original NES, it's back for the Nintendo 3DS and the graphics look so good. The 3D graphics really add some incredible depth to this game and makes it so immersive. There's two types of battle systems for this. So Pit, given the secret of flight, now has Wayne so he can actually battle in the air. But he also can battle on the ground too, so that adds some really interesting differences in how you play the game. So the story of Kit Icarus Uprising is that Kit, an angel, he has to help the goddess of light to defeat the armies of darkness from the goddess of darkness, Medusa. It's pretty dramatic. And I'm checking out the AR functionality. So you can have the AR cards out, and then when you have them just facing um, next to each other, they just do their animations. But what's really cool is if you turn them so they're facing each other, like so. And then you press the A button on your Nintendo 3DS to so actually face off in a battle. Folks at home can look forward to getting more of these the AR cards. They're going to be collectible. Kid Icarus Uprising comes out this holiday for Nintendo 3DS. Thanks for watching. Prepare to meet the light! Hi, Christopher from Nintendo. Welcome to Game Guide. I'm here playing some Star Fox 64 3D, the multiplayer mode. What's really cool is the 3D makes flying a lot easier. So it has a gyroscope, so you can move it up and down to fly. And you can aim this way. So you can also use the circle pad to do that exact same motion. What I really like to do is when I do up and down, I like using the gyroscope. And then when I do left and right, I kind of like using the circle pad. So I kind of like to combine my controls. It makes it a little easier for me, I think. What's really cool is on the bottom screen right here, you can actually see the photographs of your competition. I love it that I can receive the looks on their faces when I shoot them down. So Star Fox 64 3D comes out for Nintendo 3DS this September. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Krista with Nintendo. Welcome to Game Guide. We're getting in depth with Luigi's Mansion 2 for the Nintendo 3DS. fans remember Luigi, Mario's brother, is the star again in his very own game. And he was, of course, in Luigi's Mansion for the GameCube. When you start the game, you meet some familiar faces, and one, of course, is Dr. E. Gad. And he gives Luigi the Poltergeist 5000 to allow him to suck up those pesky stuff. <laughs> one of the other items that Luigi has is his stroke, and he uses that to stun the ghost. So if you hit A, it sort of flashes, and then you stun the ghost, making it possible to suck them into your Poltergust 5000. The 3D in this game, first of all, it looks incredible, and it allows for some really fun secrets and hiding places that you can sort of explore in the mansion. And guys, this is a brand new mansion. This is not the mansion from GameCube. This is a brand new game. So what else is really cool is when you use your stroke, if you hold down A, you can actually move the 3DS to look around the room. Luigi's Mansion 2 for the Nintendo 3DS launches in 2012. Thanks for watching, guys! Hi, I'm Krista with Nintendo. Welcome to Game Guides. We're here to take an in-depth look at Super Mario for the Nintendo 3DS. So let's jump right in. This is one of Nintendo's favorite franchises, and Mario, of course, is one of Nintendo's favorite characters. And he's back in stunning 3D 
for the very first time. And Mario's been rendered in lots of game worlds before, but this is the very first time that he's in true 3D. And that makes the game so much more immersive and so much more fun. The other great thing is that we now have back the Tanuki suit. So I just hit that leaf on the bottom screen. And look at Mario, he's in the Tanuki suit. He can hover with his little tail, which is amazing and so cute. You can do the spin attack with the X button. And there's also the fire flower, which is probably really familiar to you fans. And that is back as well, so Mario can shoot fireballs. And it looks amazing, and I wish you guys can see it in true 3D. Super Mario is coming out holiday 2011. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hi, I'm Kristen with Nintendo, and welcome to Game Guides. We're getting an in-depth look at Mario Kart for the Nintendo 3DS. Let's jump right in. Even though Mario Kart's a really familiar franchise, this one offers a lot of cool surprises. I'm going to pick one of my favorite characters, which is Yoshi. You can customize your cart in lots of different ways. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the off-road tires. Whenever you're off-road, it makes you go a lot faster. So what's really great about Mario Kart for the Nintendo 3DS is that the 3D offers so much depth. You can, for example, go down into the water and a propeller will actually pop up behind your cart or fly up in the air. For example, if you jump off a, a tall ledge, you actually get this glider that lets you hover and that just it makes the game come to life. Mario Kart, obviously, the most fun about it is that you can play with your friends. So this game is one to eight players. You can play on local Wi-Fi and online. Mario Kart launches for Nintendo 3DS, holiday 2011. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hi, guys. I'm here watching the Animal Crossing 3D trailer on the Nintendo 3DS. If you guys have a Nintendo 3DS at home, make sure you go and get your system update, which came out on June 6th, so you can get the Nintendo eShop. There, you can download this trailer and watch it in 3D. And Animal Crossing is definitely one of our favorite franchises, and it looks so nice in 3D. So make sure you guys check back with us for a release date on this title. I can't wait! Hi! Krista here with Nintendo and I'm going to play some Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D on the Nintendo 3DS. This game is the original Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time from the N64 that's been completely revamped and remastered in really beautiful 3D. So I'm actually here playing one of the more famous levels in Ocarina of Time, Water Temple. And if you remember back to the N64 game, that Water Temple was tough. But now, we're really lucky because we have the touch screen. So the bottom screen acts as your menu. So you can actually touch the different menu items like your boots or your sword or bow and arrow to change and it makes it so much easier and so much faster. Seeing Link in 3D really brings the world of Hyrule to life. There's so much depth, all the different areas that you can explore now. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D comes out June 19th for Nintendo 3DS. And after being a fan of the original Nintendo 64 version, I can't wait to play this completely remastered 3D version soon. Thanks for watching, guys.
The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword launches on Wii, holiday 2011. Thanks for watching, guys. Hi, I'm Krista from Nintendo. Welcome to Game Guide. First of all, this is not a game. The new Super Mario Bros. Me on Wii U is a brand new experience that shows off the capabilities of Nintendo's new home console. Let's check it out. The first thing you'll notice is that the graphics are now in high definition. They look great. You have two windows into the game, so you can look at the television screen like I'm doing right now, or you can just look down at the new controller, which gives you the same screen, but just on the controller itself. That way, if someone comes in and wants to watch TV, you don't have to give up your gameplay. You can keep playing. So again, New Super Mario Bros. Me on Wii U is not a game. It's an experience that shows off the possibility of Wii U. We look forward to giving you more updates on Nintendo's brand new home console. Thanks for watching!